hello YouTube. This is Jay Denson of Fit Health Well, and this is a vlog episode that I am doing. I am currently in Toronto um, <clears throat> for work. I will be out here for some for extended period, and I'll be out here for the week. Um, but what I wanted to do in the purpose of this vlog video was to show you uh, what I do and just give you some ideas on how you can stay healthy um, when you're traveling right or you're staying at a hotel for an extended period i think the biggest issue that i had um in the past when i was traveling um was you know i was hungry so i'll grab whatever was in the area right so that could be mcdonald's burger king wendy's whatever popeye's chicken kfc um and i wanted to stay on top of my nutrition and you know it's nothing wrong with having the burgers and the things like that um but i'm going to show you some things that i packed um and this is like if, uh, what i would recommend if it's something that you're going to be doing long term let's just say a week or two weeks so just kind of bring in your own stuff right so here we go okay so the first thing of course essential bananas i got a couple bananas here yay um you know bananas are good quick, convenient, easy snack to have, right? High in potassium. Um, it's really, really essential um, to your diet. Um, easy to carry around. Uh, if you want to bring them, I would say get them when they're green, especially if you uh, like to be at a hotel for a week. Um, so pick up some bananas. Uh, those things are essential as well. Um, and then something that I did here is, I know this looks a little crazy, but I made a little veggie bag, right? Uh, I eat uh, these veggies raw, and I'm gonna give you a story about that. Uh, I had to kind of figure out which veggies that I would prefer to have raw, um, and I found uh, broccoli and carrots <laughs> are the easiest thing. Um, and then I had to experiment, right? So I had to experiment and find out in terms of taste uh, what works best for me. Um, I use uh, lemon juice, so the real lemon brand or, you know, any type of lemon juice. So if you'd like to use real lemon, um, you can use that as well. But I use lemon, I use sea salt, I use pepper, um, and then I use the Mrs. Dash, the original. Um, and then what I do is I'll buy the uh, broccoli, uh, the broccoli crowns. You can get them in a big bag at Walmart. Um, I buy those and then I get the, um, the shredded, bro uh, the shredded uh, carrots. Um, so then what I do is I wash, I rinse those, I put the carrots in there, and then um, what I do is I cut up some peppers. So I have peppers in there, and then in addition to the carrots, I also have cucumber, right? Um, and I just eat these raw. So, you know, what I do is I, I don't have my Tupperware with me, um, but, you know, I have a Tupperware, and this will be um, something that I have throughout the day and, 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 and for the week. Um, and you know, if you want to add that with a protein, you can do that as well. Um, but something quick and convenient, and this would, this is honestly going to last me a week. Um, they have a fridge here, of course, so that works out. Um, but I would recommend making a veggie bag. It is essential. Um, and it's really, really good. Something cool that I picked up from Costco. Um, I like adamame and, um, in terms of just protein and things like that, you know, we, I know a lot of us, we always tend to go towards meat, um, but we can also get uh, good protein from a plant source. Uh, so my favorite is Adamame. You can get these at Walmart. I don't know the specific brand, um, but you can get a big box of Adamame from Walmart. And what you do here is you can put it in the microwave and you put it in the microwave for about five minutes. Uh, what you want to do is at the 230 mark, you want to take it, shake up the bag a bit. It like gets really, really steamy. Uh, then put it in for the next 2.30. Um, that'll be five minutes. And something quick, you know, healthy that you can have as well, um, just in terms of a nice, really, really good, healthy snack. Um, and then the favorite portion of my um, travel uh, snacks are the fruits, right? Again, Ziplocs are your friend. Um, I have grape pear, which is a favorite of mine as well. Um, these, This is something that I got from Walmart. Um, just some pineapple slices, right? Nothing crazy. Um, got pineapple, pineapple slices there as well. Um, then in addition to that, I got my apple slices, right? Apple slices for the win. Um, so make sure you have that. Yay! Um, so, you know, I got the fruits covered um, pretty much. Uh, you know, fruits, 
I got my veggie bag. Um, I didn't have time to prep. Now, the two proteins or meats that I have on the go, um, the chicken fingers, I know it's probably not the healthiest thing to have right now. Um, what I wanted to do, I just didn't have time to do it. Um, and what you can do is either grill or um, bake some uh, chicken breast, um, season it how you like it. Um, I typically do uh, Cajun or I'll do a lemon, a lemon chicken, which is um, lemon juice. And then I'll also use the Mrs. Dash sea salt and pepper, real simple. Or if I do the Cajun mix, I do garlic powder and I do Cajun um, and then I do some pepper, all right? And then I'll put that in the oven and I'll bake it and I'll bring that to me. However, um, again, I was in Walmart, I didn't have time to cook, so picked up chicken fingers, but again, um, you know, it's keeping it, keeping it really, really, um, for the most part, uh, keep it real healthy um, and just making sure that you have that stuff with you. Uh, finally, um, what I recommend have picking up if you're going to stay at a hotel for an extended period is water. You need water. And I know a lot of times you go to these hotels and, you know, you see the two bottles of water and then you drink one and you look at your bill. It's like five bucks. No, we're not doing that. Especially when you can get a case of water for five bucks. Not even five bucks. You go to Walmart sometimes right now there. Um, during the summer months, I find you can get really good deals on them, um, about two bucks. Um, so you could do that, um, get you a case of water. That is literally a week's worth uh, at the rate that I drink water. Um, even if I'm going through a couple of bottles a day, it's more than enough. Uh, I have a, um, uh, a water bottle and then most hotels, any hotel credible should have a working ice machine. So you should be good in that regard, but just make sure you pack some water. I know it's not the most eco-friendly thing. I know people may jump in the comment section um, and just say, oh, you can conserve. But however, in terms of convenience and traveling, I found that this works best because you don't, you can't always find a water source, right? So um, I typically do use a water bottle um, in areas where I have to travel and if I know there are water fountains available, I will take advantage of that. Um, however, this is the easiest thing. Just get a case of water, keep it in your hotel room, um, utilize the fridge or utilize the ice machine as well. And these are just little small things that you can do um, to stay healthy and not fall off a track. Um, of what your nutrition goals are. And again, you know, if you've been working out or if you, um, again, has been on, a, you are interested in, you know, maintaining that healthy lifestyle, these are essential things you need to do. So, you know, again, Ziploc it, that's the best bet. Go with that, get you some bananas. Yeah. Um, and then I would just say, you know, on top of your, your normal routine and stuff like that, you know, if, if your hotel has a gym, you know, just take advantage of it. Um, if you have a gym membership and you know that there's a gym in an area, take advantage of that. Uh, I have here in Canada, they have Good Life Fitness and they have uh, Fit for Less as well. So I have memberships to both. So I will be going to the uh, local gyms here in this area. Um, but right now in Toronto where I'm at uh, currently, this is what I do for that. So again, uh, thank you guys for tuning into the vlog. I'll try to produce more content for you guys um, just in terms of tips. And then again, the podcast, man. Thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast. We're really also trying to grow our YouTube channel. So if you appreciate the content, you appreciate the, um, uh, the tips that I gave today and you'd like to see more content, please subscribe to stay on top. Um, it really, really helps us out a lot. And then make sure you're listening to the podcast. You can listen to the podcast um, in various sources. You can go on Spotify. Um, you can also go on Apple, uh, Apple Podcasts. Uh, we're on Stitcher and a bunch of other platforms. Um, but I always tell people, uh, if all else fails, fithealthwell.com. Okay? Go to fithealthwell.com. And then in terms of Instagram, it's the same thing, fithealthwell. Um, you can follow us on there. Please follow us. We're trying to grow our our, our user base there. Again, thank you guys so much for, for, for following support. And again, click that, click that subscribe button because we need, we definitely need the uh, support and we'll definitely bring you more content. Thank you. We out.